Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and as you all know, we like to take a look at modified standard in-game trucks from time to time. Now, few people do this better than Jay Boosted, and such should be the case with the new Azov 64131 JBE. Now, this is going to be a modified version of this standard in-game 8x8, and this truck is quite capable in stock form, so I'm really curious to know what Jay Boosted has, has decided to do with it. Now, once we go ahead and pick it up, we'll be able to go through all of the customization requirements and we'll be able to actually see how much performance we can truly extract from this tweaked version of this truck. Now, we're going to be doing our testing on the Super Truck Stadium map and it seems to have a really good variety of obstacles. You got the racetrack, you got the uh, off-road sections, the mud sections, the crawling sections, and so we have a pretty good amount of testing available. Now, you have a couple of different engines, the AM814, 15.3, and 16.1. We're going to go with the 16.1. Now, you have Special Gearbox, Advanced Special Gearbox, and JBE Transmission, which is a 9-speed and includes high and low ranges. So, that should be suited to just about every situation that we would ever want to use it for, really. Now, suspensions-wise, we have the JBE Active, JBE Stock, JBE Raised, and you have JBE Flex. Now, JBE Flex is going to be obviously one of the softer suspension types, but is also going to be best suited for any of your crawling obstacles or crawling trails or just exploring the backcountry. Now, let's go ahead and install that one. And you have tire sizes ranging from what I can see right now, 47 to 51. And I'm really curious to see what custom tires we have um, kind of on offer here. And right off the bat, I'm seeing the 47-inch Quasi Monster Mud Tires or the Quasi Single Mud Tires. And we should also have access to those in 51 as opposed to also 47. Now, a lot of these are modified versions of the stock tires as well. So say, for example, right here, you have 51-inch Tega tires, and then right below them, you have the JBE edition of the Tega tires, which have been recoded and actually modified from the way they perform in the standard game. So if you equip these tires, you're definitely not going to be getting the performance of a standard Tega tire. You're going to be getting much more than that. Now, let's check out the 51-inch Quasi Monster Mud Tires, as well as the Quasi Single Mud Tires. And let's see here. Now, these are more JBE Edition tires, JBE TM1s, TM2s, um, let's see, MSH1s, which you guys know what those are from. And then you also have JBE Editions of the MSH1, MSH2, 3, and 4. And then you also have your chained and studded tires specifically suited for snow and ice maps. Now, we're actually going to go with the 51-inch Quasi Monster Mud Tires, and if we do need to change later, we can easily recover to the garage and make those adjustments. So, winch-wise, we're going with the Autonomous Winch, and we have quite a bit of spare wheels that we could actually use here. Now, I am very, very sure that this truck will potentially make its way to consoles at some point because the JBE Edition trucks, the JBE truck tweaks are very, very console-friendly, and we've seen... A, a lot of love, actually, for the JBE truck tweaks on consoles uh, as of late. So I'd be really, really, uh, I'd be really, really surprised if this thing didn't make the jump. So a lot of different snorkel options we have here. I think I'm going to go with the stock snorkel option. I mean, it sits literally right there on the roof of the truck. So, and let's see, add-on wise, we've got the blue sideboard bed, utility mount. Uh, wow, large roof rack. That's a big old roof rack. Like, big, big roof rack. That's a thick roof rack. All right, let's see. You've also got, oh, okay, you got the bandit crane. That's cool to see. Van body add-on, maintenance frame add-on. Uh, let's see, vibrator module, which is really cool. And then you've also got the little miniature loading crane, the IM50, and saddle high and saddle low for all of your uh, trailer towing needs. So I think what we're going to do here is, since we're mostly going to be just testing out the off-road capability of this truck, I'm going to go with the blue sideboard because I do think it matches pretty well. Well, actually, no. You know what? Taking that off. I'm just going with the basic flatbed. I think that matches it nicely. Now, let's see. Angled sun visor? Why not? Rear fenders? Nope. And let's see. Front bumper choices? You do have a pretty good amount of choices. I'm going to go with just the bumper cube lights. Nothing too crazy. Cabin air conditioner is a possible add-on, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I do like, oh my god, quad horns for when you really, really, really need to let people know that you're on your way. LED bumper lights, and let's see, side protective blinds. Not really going to worry too much about those. Stock exhaust, wedge cap exhaust, muzzle, 
flap cap, big muzzle exhaust. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. I'm going to go with that. I mean, might as well. It's like a giant stack, basically. So you can use the quasi monster wheels as well as the Tega wheels. I'm actually going to use the Tega wheels on this thing because I think it actually really suits the attitude and appearance of the truck. And one of the cool things about the JBE trucks is normally you'll see a lot of custom color combinations. And this truck is no different. You have your desert tan. You have uh, kind of a modified orange. But you also have some very, very kind of high contrast uh, color schemes down here near the bottom. And really, you have a choice of just about whatever color scheme you could ever want. I mean, everything from like red and black to like, you know, orange and, you know, like a gray and, a you know, like a white and a pink. You have just about whatever color option you could want. But I think for our testing purposes here, pretty sure we're going to go with this desert tan. I think it works really well. And I think it kind of gets the point across, you know? And we're going to go ahead and throw beans on the dash, of course. And we're also going to go with the autumn leaf right there hanging from the top. And I think I'm going to go with the... Oh, wow. Okay, so some of these don't work. That's interesting. I'm just going to go with the I park where I want. Nothing too crazy. Do the new ones also glitch out? Oh, they do. Oh, that's very weird. I wanted to use the new stickers, but they apparently glitch out on this particular truck. Not sure why that is, but... That's, I guess, just part of, like, figuring it out. Oh, look at that. That rear wheel steering is sick. So let's see how it performs with the top engine and transmission options. So apparently he said this is a nine speed. Hold on. It says six speed in automatic mode. But let me just make sure. JBE transmission, nine gears. Oh, including both high and low. So I guess six speed in automatic mode. And then he counts up to nine including high range and then the other low ranges but then that wouldn't add up that's weird that would add up to 10 gears if you were counting it that way because you know low minus that's one low that's two and then low plus that's three plus high that's another four so that would technically be a 10 speed i'm not sure how he's counting up those gears but we'll uh we'll, we'll just begin our testing i feel like we're hyper analyzing a bit too much so let's see how this does around it well I'm not going to take it to the racetrack. I'm going to make an executive decision there and not take it to the racetrack because I feel like it's definitely not going to make some of those jumps. But I will see how it does on the obstacle course. Now, I do feel like with the crawler suspension, it should do very, very well out here. I do think that there's a lot to be said for it on a proper obstacle course. But i um, not going to time it because I feel like it's not necessarily going to be a really fast rig. But this will definitely give us an idea how it'll perform in some really rough off-road terrain and i gotta say i'm happy to be doing a test like this of a tweaked truck on a map that isn't the standard testing grounds now go, don't get me wrong i love the standard testing grounds and they have been a staple of this game and a staple of our videos for a very long time but it is nice to have a little bit of a kind of a refreshing uh refreshing experience on a different map now they made it through there super easily no issues no damage we're gonna head down the road now and go over these logs a little bit of damage to the engine there. I figured that was going to happen, but I wanted to see how much of a hit it could sort of take to the front end. Now, let's put it at high and see how high range does over these logs. Actually, very well, and the soft crawler suspension is really putting in work. Really putting in work. Now, this approach is extremely sharp right here. Not sure why it's that sharp, but if you hit it with any kind of speed, and I've learned this from testing with other vehicles, you can really wind up in some sketchy situations. Now, let's see what happens if we hit the cars in sixth gear. No damage at all. Pretty dang impressive there. And keep in mind, if you wanted to dial back this thing's speed or power uh, for use on a campaign map, or if you wanted to make it a little bit more balanced in terms of campaign scenarios, you could definitely do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But for our testing purposes, we do have it on max capacity, but... That's really just solely because I wanted to see what all this thing was capable of and how much it could take, you know? So low plus going over these is not bad. It took a little bit of damage getting into this section, which is understandable. I expected it to take a little bit. I didn't quite know how much damage it was going to take, but, you know, it, it, it is going to take a little bit. Moving it down and through. So what's high range equivalent to? About fifth gear. Yeah, which is not bad. I would, I feel like 
if we're talking about max capability, I would like high range to be a little quicker, but again, it's a tweaked version of a standard in-game truck, so I can see why it wouldn't be quicker. Nice job, though, over all the obstacles thus far. I mean, it's a really capable truck. Like, a really, really capable truck. Up and over. Yeah, it's gonna take two units of damage. Not gonna worry about that, though. Should manage high range up the hill. I'm gonna stay flat out, and we'll see what it can actually do. It's gonna pick up one unit of suspension damage there. And then going down, let's see if it'll flip over. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, it did not like that. It did not like that at all. I was like, yeah, we're gonna go down the hill, and it was like, nope, don't like that! It will go straight from second gear to high range, even when the suspension is twisted up, though, so that's really impressive. That's very, very impressive, I gotta say. Especially for a truck this big on a 51-inch tire. I mean, you're talking about an 8x8 here. There's sixth gear. Not really gonna manage much of a jump, but honestly, that was a lot less damage than I thought it would take. A lot less damage than I thought it would take there. A lot less. What's interesting to me is I feel like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, man, I wish we were on the testing grounds map so we could do the bridge jump, but we have something a little bit better out here. But the thing is, I don't know if this thing is fast enough to make it. And I also feel like on the bridge jump, the normal bridge jump, it wouldn't actually make it that far. I really feel like it wouldn't actually make it that far because... It's not all that fast, and I know a lot of people love to say, well, it's a tweaked truck, it's gonna be way too fast. This thing is not actually that fast. It's super drivable, though, like, it's super friendly to drive. Now, I'm not necessarily going to do the, well, ah, we're so close to the end, we might as well do the rest. I originally was like, ah, I don't know if I'm gonna do the rest of the course, but I'll tell you what, we'll finish the rest of this course, and then we will head back to the garage, get this thing all repaired, ready to go, and then we will head for this map's equivalent of the bridge jump. Diving in there, but kicking it into high quick enough which is actually another really impressive thing about it because the nice thing about high range not being too long or too tall of a gear is the fact that you can kind of just jam it into high range whenever you want and it's a nice step above low plus and can get you out of situations where you just need that little bit more wheel speed. It's a very well put together truck. Very, very well put together truck. And honestly, one of the best truck tweaks I've driven in a long time in terms of balance. I mean, it really does feel, and I know I've said this about Jay Boosted's tweets before, but this thing really does feel like you took your truck, you sent it to a high-end performance tuner, and this was the package that you got back. It doesn't feel over the top. It doesn't feel unmanageable. It really does feel like an enhanced version of what was there before, and that really is what you want. That's what I want. That's what I like. Easy does it. And it really does go to show that Jay Boosted's tweaks are some of the best in the business. And if and when this thing does come to console, I definitely think that it's going to be a very, very popular one. Wow, no damage from that drop? I was fully expecting to get a bunch of damage from that drop. And also, keep in mind, it's holding itself in sixth gear all the way through this. All the way through it. So there's sixth. Up and over. Ow! That was a big hit. And even through all of these rocks, it's keeping itself in sixth gear. Well, until the end. And then I wanted to go into reverse for some reason. The brain of this gearbox could be very weird sometimes. But overall, not a bad run at all through the course. So now, let's recover back to the garage and then leave again. Because for one, that saves us a little bit of time. And for two, it actually helps repair our rig. And I have a very, very good idea of where I want to go. Oh boy. This is sixth gear. This is max speed. Oh, God. This is not going to go well. Oh, yeah. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Well, as you can plainly see, this thing is not built for speed, but it is built to solely enhance the capabilities of this truck as it sits. And I think it's a really, really good truck tweak. I think it definitely belongs in your garage if you enjoy the base version of this truck, but I've always wanted a little bit more. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.